Good morning and welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. It is a really pretty day. It's really hot. This is Bailey's kids. I wanted to get them out here. I didn't get them done yesterday. I accidentally did it and then I deleted it. So I apologize. These guys are doing phenomenal and they are full of it this morning. The sun's hot. I've got him in a shady spot, but there comes the sun. It keeps coming and going behind the clouds. But uh, we're going to get this done this morning while it's coming and going before it gets really hot. So these guys are doing great. They're going in next week and be spayed and neutered. Everything is right on track where it should be for their age and their date. These guys are like little woolly bears. And uh, it's pretty easy to tell which puppy is yours except for the two chocolates. And the orange colored puppy, she got orange or red on. I always have trouble, I think it's orange. She is over here and I dropped my iPad and my screen is absolutely shattered. There's the female. And, uh, oh, now she's being attacked by the male. He's got the blue collar on right, right there. So my iPad is not long for this world. It is like looking through thousands of spider webs. And I'll have to excuse the tractor noise. Hopefully they don't come over here close. But they are in the process of scraping all the gravel off our driveways because we're going to tar and chip. So it's a mess around here right now. Um, these guys have had their, pup, their first set of puppy shots. If they are still here at nine weeks old, they will absolutely get their second puppy shot. Uh, we do our shots here at 6 weeks, 9 weeks, 12 weeks, and 15 weeks. I had a family the other day call and tell me that their vet said, sibling rivalry, said their puppy didn't need a fourth shot. He only believes in three shots. Please give your puppy that fourth shot if your vet tells you that. You're not going to hurt that puppy at all, and it's much better to be safe than sorry when it comes to Parvo. Um, the purple collar is right there. She's <laughs> They are wound this morning. They are just full of it. They're having a blast. The phantom's down here running. I'm trying to, to keep up but not make you dizzy. And of course the party with the pink collar. Get pink on. You know I've done so many collars in two days and it's under all that hair. But anyway, that's the party puppy. I don't know what goat there. It's an orange collar, I think. Yep, it is. Tag on it. Uh, she has the or that one has the orange collar, and the phantom has the pink collar. Yes, I see you. You're looking at the buckle. She says, I, they said, I am busy and getting out of here. Uh, let's see. If we are shipping your puppy to you soon, please be aware that the top of your crate will have your health certificate. I'm sorry, your health card, which shows everything we have done to these guys since they've been with us. It also will contain some puppy food just for the trip in case they'd miss their uh, connecting flight or something and they'd go to feed it. Uh, also, your spay neuter sheet will be on there and your microchip card. So all the really important stuff will be on top of that crate. Well, these guys are just like, we're going to argue and play. Is up. Okay, that's done. They are so bad. They're so bad. We have been working while they're here on no bark, no bite, no lick, and the word out. Um, the biting is the biggest thing I hear back from people. They call me about four or five weeks into it and going, we just can't stand this. We can't stop the biting. You can stop the biting in two days if you don't treat this puppy like a a princess so when you get this puppy home if this puppy uh, attempts to chew your fingers which is a a total puppy thing that is how they establish their dominance um, so if they bite your fingers even if you think it's a loving little chewing on your finger while you're watching TV it is not a loving sign they are establishing their dominance so I take the back of my hand I pop them in the nose and I'm not nice about it and I tell them no bite. If you do that, every time this puppy chews on you, within two days you can say uh 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 as it goes to bite you and it backs away. 
if you do not do something to discourage the biting up front. Squeezing its mouth shut just makes it mad. I do not recommend pinching its nose shut. I mean, it makes them panic. It's You're cutting their air off, and they're going to come right back and lash back out at you. Um, snapping them in the nose with your finger, like if you'd snap a fly or something, does not work as well as just take the back of your hand, pop it in the nose with the back of your fingers, make it count when you do it, and tell it sternly, no bite. That's probably the impor most important thing I can tell you because the, the biting is going to be your biggest issue. If you have small children, please don't leave them alone with this puppy uh, without adult supervision because the puppy will try and establish its dominance that way also. Well, I've run over my five limit mark. Um, in order to get everybody videos for the whole month, I have to limit them. And I'm at six minutes, so I'm out of here for the day. I hope you had a, uh, fun watching their videos. I do not think I'm going to get on individual photos this week, but I'm going to try, but I'm not going to promise. Um, it, and by this week means by the end of Sunday night, but we'll just have to see how it goes with all we've got going on. So uh, have a good weekend. Call me with questions, and we'll talk to you soon.